Hey guys, what's going on? The topic of today's video is going to be kill streaks in Battlefield 4. We've got a nice bit of gameplay in the background. It's a 142 for zero game in the attack helicopter, and that's exactly what I'm going to look at today how to make these kill streaks possible on Battlefield 4, and then have a little chat regarding whether they will be possible in Battlefield 1 and my opinions on the matter. So starting things off, I think the most important thing to look at when you are trying to achieve a kill streak is what sort of vehicle are you going to do it in. I don't think it's possible to do it as infantry. We all realise you could probably get a 30 kill streak maximum as an infantry player. So you have to really focus on a vehicle. And for me, the most effective one is going to be the attack helicopter, in particular the gunner seat. You can pull off these kill streaks in tanks. I have had some 100 plus kill streaks, but pulling off something past the 120 mark, especially on an 800 ticket game, one you're going to have to gun on the attack in the attack helicopter. Two, you're going to have a pilot that positions you and enables you to get the kills and kind of sacrifices their game a little bit, so you're picking up most of the kills that way. And three, you're going to have to pick a map that enables you to almost farm infantry and vehicles non-stop. The perfect map for me is Shanghai. A couple of others that might be quite good to go and have a go on would be Dawnbreaker. If you're in the tank, I'd definitely suggest looking at Propaganda or Operation Outbreak. Now, the main thing to focus on when you're trying to get a kill streak on Shanghai, first of all, make sure you're on the US team. It is quite a big deal making sure you have this US chopper. It's a lot better than the other one, and you'll find hitting your TVs that little bit easier against the Chinese heli as opposed to the US heli. A few servers are even Chinese Russia or US Russia. In either case, make sure you are on the stronger helicopters team. I know some people can do it from the other helicopters point of view and I have hit a kill, couple of kill streaks from the Chinese side, but the US chopper is a bit more agile, harder to hit, and it just gives you that advantage. Next up, make sure your pilot never risks going out from behind cover unless they have ECM. It seems like a simple one, but the amount of streaks that I've had lost because my pilot not having anything against them, but they've gone out thinking that there's nothing there and then suddenly a, a couple of stingers appear and there's nothing they can do about it. So it is always necessary to never peek from behind cover unless you have ECM. Again, a simple one, but trust me, it will save you so many kill streaks when you're trying to pick these things up. The big point for me on a game of Shanghai is make sure when the building is down that you're always spotting the attack boat. The problem with the attack boat is it can run anti-air missiles, burst cannons, even 25 mils on the TV missile. They will do a huge amount of damage to a helicopter and you have to remember the attack boat can only do a certain amount of damage to tanks, LAVs and things like that. The raised barriers on the side of the map or the side of the water level make it fairly difficult to actually TV things so they will focus the majority of their attention on the air vehicles throughout the map. A lot of infantry as well will suffer on Charlie from the attack boat, but in the attack helicopter, as a gunner and a pilot, make sure you spot it and get rid of it. That is very important. Along with a kill streak, you need to make sure that you are taking out the enemy attack helicopter. This doesn't matter whether you're playing Dawnbreaker, whether you're playing Altai Range, whether you're playing Shanghai, it doesn't matter what map you're playing. You have to make sure that that enemy attack helicopter has not got a chance to take you out. This, of course, does not mean base raping them. Nobody likes base rape, but the moment they've taken off, Quite often you'll find yourself getting heat seekered straight away. So air radar will help you with this because it will spot the attack helicopter as soon as it's taken off, or in the case of Dawnbreaker, the scout and the attack helicopter. You then, as the gunner, need to make sure you are telling the pilot that this has happened in case they've missed it. This could be through the form of chat if you haven't got voice chat going, but I suggest that you get on a TS or you use VoIP. This way you can tell them when the helicopter's up, they can point you, you can have a TV missile. Even if you don't hit your TV missile, you're still suppressing the attack helicopter. Also making sure that you keep some 30 mils in the in the bag. For me, a lot of the time I don't need to do this because a few of my pilots have good Zuni aim so they can actually get me out of these situations against attack helicopters, unless of course you do have a pro heli team against you. I would suggest keeping a TV missile as well spare, especially if the attack helicopter is about to spawn. You can usually tell from the spawning screen on Battle Log what the respawn time is. If it's a 100% spawn, you know that you've got a bit of time, but sometimes on these instant spawn servers, I always keep myself a TV missile. So, as for the killstreaks, they will start to come flying in. I mean, we have a couple of months before this game is probably going to drop in player numbers quite a lot, so I'd make the most of getting on some Shanghai servers, getting on some Dawnbreaker servers, and causing some damage in the attack helicopter. If you're looking to do the same in a tank, 
I would suggest looking at a slightly higher ticket server, maybe a 1600 ticket or slightly higher than that, and going for a slow kill streak as opposed to a really fast one and racing in and trying to get all the kills. The reason for this is the KPM in a tank can be a little slower than in the attack helicopter, and this is purely because of the speed of the tank and the fact you can't get around the map. You're doing a lot of the flag capping on the floor, you're doing a lot of the groundwork. And now the discussion about Battlefield 1. Are kill streaks going to be possible? Well, from the initial video footage that was sent back from the EA Play event, we already saw a 31 to 0 or a 32 to 0 kill streak in one of the heavy tanks. For me, kill streaks are going to be a major part of Battlefield 1, which really, really excites me. And the reason it excites me a little more than it did with Battlefield 4 is because teamwork seems to be more central to the gameplay in Battlefield 1. Yes, I don't think the game will have the longevity that Battlefield 4 has. I think it will be a bit more towards Battlefront than Battlefield 4. However, I think the first six months of gameplay are going to be absolutely sublime. And I'm really, really looking forward to see what I can pull off in a tank with a nice squad behind me. In terms of the planes and what they can do, I'm really not too sure. I'm not a massive jet fan on Battlefield 4, and I haven't really used the jets or even had a look at the planes in Battlefield 1, if I'm honest. However, I do think still you will be able to pull off a couple of nice streaks. I'm wondering whether air superiority will be an option in Battlefield 1 because if it is, you can hone your skills in a game of that and then possibly dogfights will be a little more interesting than what we saw in the event. I think a few people were crashing a lot of the time. Obviously, that's going to be the case. It's a new game, but I think it would look a little better if we had an air superiority game mode. Finally, the Zeppelins, I'm really not too sure what to expect. It looks to me as though they can be very, very effective once they appear on the map. However, this does seem to be a vehicle that is going to be fairly easy to use and not really something you can rely on to to pick up a kill streak. I'd like to see the tanks being the main part of this game. Also seeing the amount of damage infantry can do to tanks, that's quite amazing to see that every class is going to get an anti-tank grenade. I, I'm glad to see it because obviously tanks could be completely unleashed on the battlefield and be the main part of the game mode and absolutely wreck everybody. So it's nice to see that they've got some sort of balance towards it. If you did enjoy, please leave a like down below and let me know what your highest kill streak is down in the comments. I'd love to know if any of you have got past the 150 or even the 200 mark. Thanks again for watching guys and I'll catch you in the next video.